lots of you asking how our Christmases were as well. Uh, we had a very nice Christmas. It's all over too soon for me. Was it a bit okay. quick? Just all over too quickly, and then we're back and we're all thrown into it. A bit of turmoil, of course, because yeah. Sam's doing his GCSEs this year, or was supposed to be doing his GCSEs. Oh. So bless him, spent the whole of Christmas doing his revision for his mocks, and now they're Oh, he's such all a good boy. He's just, I don't know where he gets... Well, he gets from... <laughs> he gets him from Annie. He doesn't get... He certainly doesn't You're get still thinking me. about doing your GCSE <laughs> revision, aren't you? I say there's been a huge drop-off in the amount of uh, industry at home uh, once that announcement was made. But fair, you know, I just feel that it's so frustrating for anyone doing GCSEs, A levels, mm. you know, the BTEC is a really complicated situation at the moment as well. Just in terms very of understanding. How are you getting on with homeschooling? I, I, I think it's very patchy, isn't it, what the schools are offered? We, we saw Gavin Williamson said you should complain to your school or if you don't think you're getting said. enough. Yeah, and um, it, it, it's. I, we're, I'm trying to make sense of it. It's tricky, I think. Was... Some schools seem to be... Uh, my friend lives in the north. Her son has to be in school uniform at nine to do a full day in his school uniform. My niece does as well. Zoom. Yeah. yeah, my niece has to be in school. Uh, whereas, you know, it's very patchy where mm. we are. How was Christmas in the end? Because we were well, all very tough, concerned. it was wasn't it? I mean, you know, I think it was tough for everybody. Um, I knew it was going to be tough. Um, there was a, a lovely moment, which we did have, which was... We did, over the period, get to see Derek and right. the children did, which is the first time they've been able to do that. So that was amazing. Of course, it was um, it was very heightened with emotion because he's very changed. Yes. So all the routines that we would normally do, it was one of those moments where it was so wonderful, but then also it sort of amplified how sad everything was. Does that make sense? And how different it's And how different yeah. it is, yeah. And uh, But it was still fantastic and very grateful to have had that opportunity. And then instantly, now I'm in a position where even I can't visit. Because everything's not changed again since him. the most so, recent lockdown. Yeah, we're into lockdown, no visits at all, which I hope doesn't continue for the whole of lockdown, because I think that will be very impactful. Uh, yeah, our heart Derek's goes out, state, definitely, because but... there'll be other people around the country in a similar situation who yeah. can't now see their loved ones who have been in hospital uh, for a long yeah. time. Probably not as long as Derek, but some of them undoubtedly yeah. would have been far too long. It's difficult, isn't it, Hilary, because, of course, the lockdown affects all of us suddenly not being able to go to school and not being able to go to the shops, but when you suddenly can't go into hospital, and we'd all got quite used to, as you had, Kate, being able to go and visit people that were in hospital yeah, for whatever reason. Yeah, it was reason. infrequent, wasn't it, Hilary? But there was um, uh, the ability with very carefully controlled situations that you could have some sort of access and now I don't know if it's every hospital um, but certainly where Derek's being treated there are now no visitors at all um, which is tough yeah, I think uh, two things have happened. First of all, there's the lockdown, uh, and it's yeah. imperative that we get the uh, transmission rate down, particularly because of this new variant, which is more transmissible. Uh, and secondly, because the staff are just overwhelmed. You know, yeah. two, two, two in intensive care nurses... Um, sorry, one, one nurse to two patients is pretty unprecedented. Normally, it's one-to-one -one at least. Um, so, so it's tough times in hospitals, and, yeah. and we've got to protect them um, and, and also get the R rate down. And, and that means very, very hard choices, because... The human instinct is to go and want to sit by the bedside of somebody that you care for and somebody who's desperately ill. And yet, you know, this virus is such a cruel thing because mm. it, it, it stops people being able to do that. Mm. It is. It's tough on lots of levels. And I think it's tough for everyone. And I think, I don't know if you said so, but this time I was locked down, you mentioned Clap the Carers. There was, at the beginning of the last lockdown, if you weren't directly affected, a real spirit of let's knuckle down, let's get through this. this. We together. thought there was yeah. a time limit, whereas now... Just like, oh, man. And, and then hearing Chris Whitty say there could well be some restrictions Christmas of this year, winter 2021, was, was a moment where your sort of heart dropped. We've all pinned our hopes on the vaccine. Yeah. Uh, well, the spring. message was, wasn't it, there'll always be other Christmases. I would argue that there aren't for some people sure. other Christmases. Sure. But there will always be other Christmases. And now suddenly, hang on a minute, mm. there might not be. Do you know, I, I think putting a, a time deadline on, on anything right now is, is a mistake. Uh, mm. You know, I think offering people the promise of coming out of lockdown by the end of February, by the middle of, of March, it, you know, it'll only be right to come out of lockdown when it's safe to do so when the R rate is, is low enough to make I know, Hilary, but for mental health, that is tough. I think for young people, well, it's, it's, it's so tough. But if there's a deadline no isn't school, reached... There's nothing... 
It, you know, the if, weather's bad. Yeah, I understand. It, but if, if you raise your expectations to course. a certain date and, and then that date isn't reached... It's bad, yeah. It, it, it's, it's very... Um, it's depressing. Mm. However, if you say, I'm adjusting my lifestyle now to a new normal, I will make, I will make use of every opportunity I have now with the time I have to do different things, to, to, to um, get like my what, differently... Like what, Hills? What would you suggest? Oh, OK. I'd be, I, I, I'd be genuine. I don't know what to say to Darcy and Biddy, okay. honestly. Oh. What, what do they do? Well, Other than spend more time with me. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I think, first of all, exercise is really important. You're allowed to go out uh, once a day and, and there's no time limit on the exercise you take. People can get fit. Um, people can uh, learn a language. They can read the book they've been wanting to do because they haven't had the time. They can watch a box set. They, they, can, they can do things that they've never had the time to do before, decorate the house. Make this an opportunity that you haven't had or you've been postponing because you lead a busy life. You're normally. absolutely right, Hilary, and, of course, that's what we should be doing. I just think it's very tough for youngsters to do what they want to do tough. with their that. mates. One of, the, one of the things, though, Hills, and what you've said is don't put a date on it, but one of the things that by yeah. putting a date on it, it gives us a target a light to at the end of a tunnel. Yeah. Uh, and even if that shifts, and even if it's as we get closer to it, there is some lightening of restrictions, but the restrictions don't stop completely. Giving us... A target is such an important thing. We, you know, the amount of times we've worked on this show, when we did all sorts of uh, weight loss challenges that we've done with you on GMTV, mm. and the point was this is going to go on for a month, and at the end of the month, that is mm. when we're going to measure how well you've done. That and that focuses everybody to be able to go. We can get through that. I can get through that month because I know at the end of it, things are going to change. P people like to have control. They like predictability. They they like to make plans. That that's completely understandable and normal. However. The virus doesn't allow us to do that. The virus changes. There will be new variants. We will be playing a bit of cat and mouse for some time. We will get there, but we can't put a time limit on it. No. And I think to make promises and to say, OK, everything will be right by, by, by February, by March, is a bit of a mistake because it's not necessarily the case. We just have to adjust right now to see what happens and we will have to make those adjustments as they arise. You're right. And actually, Darcy was saying, I just want to tell everyone, please follow the rules because I can't stand this any longer. And I think that is the answer, isn't it? Yeah. Please, let's stick to it this time. Stick to and the rules and we get hopefully out of it we'll get through it.